guys, Mike Chen here in Paris, France, and today we're going to Burger King. So I'm gonna go in a little reverse order today because I got a cone. Now what's special about this cone is that there's Nutella. I don't know about you guys, but when I get one of those ice cream cones, the best part is on the bottom where there's a little layer of chocolate right at the tip. And at the end, you just suck that whole thing in your mouth. Best bite of the cone. Well here, Nutella chocolate all inside this cone. This is gonna get exciting. So dessert before all the burgers, and burgers look amazing. There's only one burger I'm missing, and it's the one that stays sold out. It looks so good. Anyway, Burger King in France, I think there's gonna be a good meal. Now, let's get to the food. I got the Goat Burger, Veggie King, King Fries, the Steakhouse. Oh, that's pretty. Beautiful bun, cheese, giant patty, bacon. The Veggie King looks like arugula, tomatoes, mayonnaise, cheese over a veggie patty. This is called the Master Chevro. Oh wow, that bun looks beautiful. This looks intense. This is a French beef patty. There's dried and marinated tomatoes. Giant thick French beef patty and a giant piece of chevre cheese and arugula covered in an herb sauce. So bacon, cheese over fries. Also, I got a bunch of different sauces. The 1954 grill flavor sauce, the spicy sauce, and a chili cheese sauce. Finally, a king wrap. It's lunchtime. I haven't even had breakfast yet, so let's start with what I think is gonna be the best one. This looks like such an amazing burger. Giant piece of cheese. I thought it was a piece of onion. It's actually a whole giant piece of cheese. Thick, thick patty. The bun looks beautiful. This is so, so good. I feel like I'm not Burger King anymore. I'm at some restaurant I just ordered a delicious burger from. I'm loving this so much. First of all, the beef patty, it's got that plain broiled taste that Burger King is known for. The cheese is what's really making a difference here. Goat cheese is creamy. It's got that perfect amount of funk to give this kind of a, almost a dry aged flavor. Just taste wise, it's utter perfection. The creaminess, the crunch from the arugula, and the chew and the slight acidity from the dried tomatoes. Then of course that great quality beef. Flavor is a 10 out of 10. Mm. The spicy sauce is a must get. It is a must get. Adds so much flavor to pretty much everything it touches. Mm. 1954 sauce. It tastes like smoky mayonnaise. This is delicious too. Chili cheese. I'm not surprised. I'm in a country that's known for their sauces. And these three are probably the best sauce I've had at any fast food restaurant. Next up, the steakhouse. This thing tastes more like a fast food burger. Patty's okay, a little dry. With the typical toppings like the lettuce and tomatoes. I say it's pretty pedestrian. But dunk it is some of that chili sauce. This thing just makes everything better. This one. I say like a six out of 10. This is the veggie burger. So this is a veggie patty. Oh, this thing? Come on, call. This tastes like a, like a soy patty. Guess that's probably what they're going for. They didn't call this an impossible patty. They didn't try to make this seem like it's meat. Not a bad veggie burger. A few more things to try. Chili cheese nuggets, like a little jalapeno popper. Mmm, this is freaking amazing. The outside is so flaky and crispy. And I got another one. This is the King Wrap. Tastes like a cold tortilla wrap that someone got from a grocery store. Goat cheese nugget is crispy, it's chew on the inside. Dip that in some of that chili cheese sauce. Mm, I think that cheese is better on its own. Ooh. That's really good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's amazing. First of all, that cheese is delicious. 
with that perfect subtle crunch on the outside. I'm not even a big fan of cold cheese. Incredible, especially with that little bit of crunch on the outside. This is a little benign. Pretty much tastes like those little McDonald's um, donut holes I've had before. Yeah, this is not great. And this looks nothing like the picture on the menu. This is a chocolate fondant. Now it just kind of looks like a lava cake. I mean, I don't know if I got the wrong thing, but this just looks like a lava cake. I mean, it's a delicious lava cake. That's definitely not what I thought I was getting. Overall, Gold's Burger, work of art. Especially if you can get it fresh off the cooker. That's a burger I will come back to Burger King for. Otherwise, the cheese bites are delicious. The fries, especially dipped into that sauce, mind blowing. Sad that I'm missing out on that one burger I really, really wanted at Burger King, but pretty satisfied with my brunch so far. This is an interesting observation. They don't give you ice in your drinks unless you specifically ask for it. But menu of McDonald is not overly exciting. There's a barbecue beef burger, a 280 burger, potato wedges, mm. and a croque monsieur, which is, in this case, just a couple of buns and some cheese smashed together. Oh, ham inside too. As simple as this creation is, oozy cheese, delicious ham, toasty bun, not too bad at all. When these potato wedges are hot and fresh, oh, these are so awesome. This is a hefty, hefty burger. This is the barbecue beef burger, tomatoes, lettuce, cheese, beautiful brioche bun. I think the bun is actually the best part of this burger. The vegetables are really fresh and that is very delicious. Barbecue sauce is a little overly sweet and the patty itself, pretty darn dry. I feel like the Burger King patties, there's a nice smokiness to it, a nice flame broiled flavor to it. This, this tastes like nothing. This is the 280 burger. This looks delicious. Shibata bun, beef patty, cheese, tomatoes. I mean, the bun looks solid, patty looks solid. This is great. Mm. This is what you should get at the McDonald's here. Mm. First of all, that bread is wonderful. So fluffy and fresh. Tastes like it just came out of the bakery this morning. Burger patty, this time really tender and extremely beefy. This definitely tastes like better quality beef than the McDonald's in the US. Mm. The sauce is delicious. Cheese is perfect. It's a little peppery, a little smoky. Really peppery. This is freaking delicious. Mm, big thumbs up for this burger. It's also called a 280 burger because it weighs 280 grams. Anyway, I love trying out at different fast food places. Every new country I go to, Burger King, I feel like definitely had more variety, more new menu items. That's really different from what's in the US. McDonald's, a lot of stuff is the same. There's a giant McFlurry menu though, like dozens of flavors of McFlurry. This burger is absolutely phenomenal. And potato wedges always better than regular fries, at least in my opinion. But I feel like the McDonald's don't have the amount of sauces Burger King do. Burger King's sauces are out of this world. If somehow the king and the clown combine forces, the king provides the sauce and McDonald's provides the wedge, the jester and the king will be ruling the land. Not a lot of food today. I'm gonna go home and take a little break. Pretty fancy dinner coming up tonight. This is a three month old aged caviar. They said to take 20% bite first and kind of just swish it around your mouth like, a, like wine. Mm, there's almost no fishiness to it. A little bit of brininess. Wow. Well, the second bite's the best. He told me within about 10, 15 seconds, you're gonna start experiencing the real flavor of this thing. I'm not a caviar expert. I rarely ever eat this, but wow. Mm, a little bit briny. Again, no fishiness. It's just smooth. It's like popping silk bubbles. That's freaking, oh, there's still one left. It's from a fish called Ocetra. Grows to be about six foot long. 
I don't think I've ever had aged caviar before. That was an experience. So coming to Paris, one of the things you gotta try is fine dining. And this is the first time, of course, doing something fine dining here in Paris. And Finn found this restaurant and that was a really good start. Course two, this is apricot clam sitting on a pie crust. Crispy, briny, citrusy, wow. Spicy, I love that. Second bite, black rice, dried beef, and a mushroom cream. Mmm, I think some caramelized onions in that as well. The beefy flavor really shines through, maybe after about 10, 15 seconds. And this on a little toast, that's anchovy tapenade. Mmm, that was the strongest bite. Wow, very anchovy. I think that's always some tasting in there too. What I like about this place is they bring you dish after dish very quickly, which I appreciate. So this is salmon with sweet potato, some mango, fruits on top, nuts, cashews, greens. And this is salmon from region was called Landu or something. Mm. Wow, the salmon is so light and smoky. The rest of the salad. The flavors are incredibly intricate. It's a little sweet, a little sour, a lot crunchy. And it all works perfectly with that smoky salmon. Mm, that's so awesome. Also, look at this fork and this knife. It's like a throwing knife. Heavy too. Yeah, not wasting a drop of that sauce. So good. Ooh. That's cherry with smoke, yes. huh? That's so nice. Oh, it smells so good. So this is uh, cream with lemon. Same old sachet caviar aged six months in this mashed potato with butter and seaweed. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be awesome. Wow. The sauce is so creamy and lemony and it offsets the brininess of the caviar beautifully. Mm. Wow, this is good. And the crunchy top, masterful. Mm -hmm. I'm really enjoying this. The six months is definitely more briny than the three months. So this is an asparagus dish with candy blood orange, Parmesan cheese chips, little flowers in here as well, and wild garlic ice cream. Wow, this looks amazing. Mm, this place is freaking incredible. Every dish is incredible. Wow, I mean, there's so much going on here. The sweetness and sour from the blood orange and also from the goat cheese sauce just poured over everything. The asparagus is so fresh and light. There's just so much flavor, just like overwhelming my taste buds right now. Mm, a little sweet, very creamy. And the Parmesan chips, I feel like that just kind of ties everything together with a little bit of textural difference. He's a monkfish jalapeno sauce. Radish and pear, honey mustard, and they made this other sauce out of red wine and shallots. And I'm just so excited for this. This is so pretty. How exactly to eat this together, but I'm going for it. Mm, every single bite of every dish I've had here, it's just so much going on. It's so intricate and complex, but at the same time, it ties together so well. Combine the fish consomme with a little bit of jalapenos to kind of change the flavors up and keeps the taste buds engaged and interested. So it's a bite of sweet juice and a bite of refreshing radish. Mm. Sauce is always something to just make sure you get every single bit of that. Next dish, beef, black garlic, peas, and dry goji berries, sweet potato puree, more mushroom cream sauce. Just like all the other dishes, colorful, beautiful. And I think this is gonna be very, very good. Mm, tender, sweet, savory. A little pop from the peas, some earthiness from the mushrooms. Mm. Oh, that meat is so tender too. I love goji berries. Never knew you could use it like this. I'm so sad for this tasty menu to be It's probably one of the best or the best tasty menus I've ever had in my life. It's so innovative. I feel like a lot of them just kind of repeats themselves with truffles or uni or just a piece of fish. This is just so much different ingredients and flavors. Like, I mean, this workshop doesn't have a Michelin star. It deserves one, at least. 
at least one. The food is so crazy good. And I'm glad I was able to try this place before. I know they're gonna blow up. This is such a great place. Mm. Ah, it's almost over. Palate cleanser. Mm. Dessert, chocolate, caramel, peanuts. It's basically a cloud. This has been such an experience. If you are ever in Paris, highly recommend coming to this restaurant before they become even more popular than they already are. Like I mentioned in the beginning, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Guys, I've been talking about HelloFresh for years and I swear by them most of all because they are absolutely delicious. I have not had a single recipe I didn't absolutely love. And it makes sense because HelloFresh delivers fresh quality produce from the farm to your front door in less than a week. So you can pretty much savor summer flavors right from your home. And plus, it just saves so much time. Sometimes I just don't get around to eating that I think there's still frozen cheese in my freezer from about two years ago. And it's pretty much foolproof step-by-step -step recipe, so you can't really mess it up. I mean, I've sort of messed it up and it still turned out delicious. So you can have a fun, stress-free cooking experience. Plus, a lot of the meals are ready in about 30 minutes or less, because seriously, who, who wants to wait to eat? Nobody. So that's just perfect. If you're trying to stay fit, there's actually fit and wholesome recipes, which makes it easy to eat well without sacrificing the flavor. So with HelloFresh, you can feel good about your food and maintain your goals. Also, the recipes are pre-portioned ingredients, so that means less prep time for you and less food waste. I've recommended HelloFresh to pretty much anyone interested in meal kit service. Like I said, most important thing, it's really delicious, it really is. So if you wanna give it a try, go to my link down below or just go to hellofresh.com. Use promo code MikeyChen16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three gifts. All right, I'm gonna go get some rest. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.